Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number two, microorganisms, and today I will deliver its 11th lecture. Before moving on towards our main lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, listen to the question very carefully, pause the video, and then answer the question. Do microorganisms cause diseases? Yes, some of the microorganisms also cause uh, also cause diseases. Now it's time for an activity. So collect some affected leaves of plants from nearby garden and paste them on a chart paper. So my dear students, go with your teacher outside in the garden and collect some diseased plants. आपको देख के ही पता चल जाएगा कि जो leaves हैं ये affect हुए हुए हैं. Uh, either they are bitten by an insect, कुछ को insects या beetles जो हैं वो भी bite कर लेते हैं. कुछ को जो है different microbes जो हैं वो भी लग जाते हैं and they have diseases on them. So collect such uh, uh, leaves and paste them on a chart paper and you can also uh, display it in the class under the title that these are the diseased leaves. So my dear students, pause the video and kindly perform this activity. I hope you have done it. Now we will move forward towards some pre-reading questions. Quickly tell me, did you ever get ill? Kya aap kabhi bimar huye? Sab bimar ho jate hain. Seasonal, baaz dafa jab sardi aati hai, hum tab bimar ho jate hain. So, what do you think? What was the reason? Aapko kya lagta hai ki is cheez ka kya reason tha when you got ill? Pet kharab ho jata hai, vomits a jati hain. You get cold. So what happens at that time? Why do you get ill? What are the reasons? Yes, some of the microbes they enter the our body and make us ill. ये plants में भी होता है, ये animals में भी होता है और human beings में भी होता है. So my dear students, in today's lecture, the students will be able to recognize some common diseases of each group caused by microorganisms. So आज जो है बच्चे जो हैं वो ये पढ़ेंगे कि कैसे जो कुछ ग्रुप्स हैं माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स के वो इलिस का बाइस भी बनते हैं या डिजीज़ेस कॉस करते हैं। So let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. I swear what you see and what you do not see. हम repeatedly ये जो आयत है इसको अपने लेक्चर्स में मैं रिपीट कर रही हूँ कि अल्लाह ताला ने कसम खाकर कहा है कि ऐसी चीजों की कसम जो तुम देख सकते हो और जो नहीं देख सकते कुछ जैसे कि मैं आपको हमेशा एग्जांपल देती हूँ हवा की हवा जो है वो आपको नजर नहीं आती बट इट एक्जिस्ट सिमिलरली माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म यू कैन नॉट सी देम विद यू नेकेड आई बट दे डू एक्जिस्ट सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज ओपन पेज नंबर 27 इन योर साइंस फाइव बुक्स वेरी गुड लेट स्टार्ट द रीडिंग पुट योर फिंगर्स वेर आई विल रीड Disadvantages of microorganisms. As you know that we have al uh, already discussed about the advantages of microorganisms. Today we will discuss about the disadvantages. Microorganisms are harmful to us in the following aspects. Microorganisms spoil food. Bacteria and fungi are responsible for the spoilage of food. When these microorganisms break down the food, waste products are produced. These products have an unpleasant smell, spoil the food and are harmful to health. Microorganisms cause diseases. They cause diseases not only in humans but also in plants and animals. Some diseases of microorganisms are as follows. This text is given on page number 28. So, microorganisms जो हैं ये ना सिर्फ humans के अंदर diseases cause करते हैं, but they also cause diseases in plants and animals. So let's quickly read about it. Put your fingers where I will read. Diseases in plants. Microorganisms can cause diseases in plants. Bacteria cause leaf spots, fire blight and wilts. Fungi cause rust and smut. Viruses cause ring spot. So my dear students here you can see के plants में virus, bacteria और fungi जो हैं they cause different kinds of diseases. So here you can see this is leaf spot and leaf spot is caused by 
bacteria. Then this is leaf affected by rust. This is caused by fun fungus. And this is leaf affected by ring spot and this is caused by a virus. So even in plants, different diseases are caused by microbes. Now here are some tidbits. Let's read about it. A pathogen is a microorganism that has the potential to cause disease. An infection is the multiplication of pathogens inside an individual. The disease is conditioned when the infection causes damage to the individual's vital organs, brain, heart, lungs, etc. So my dear students, जो एक pathogen होता है, वो एक ऐसा microbe होता है, it could be a virus, bacteria or fungi जो कि diseases cause करता है. तो ऐसे microbes जो कि diseases cause करते हैं और spread होते हैं, they are called pathogens. So, um, infection जो है, ये जो pathogens होते हैं, ये infection cause करते हैं, और जब किसी इंसान को जानवर को या पौधे को इंफेक्शन होती है तो उसके अंदर जो डिजीज पैथोजन होता है वो स्प्रेड होता है मल्टीप्लाई होता है एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एन इंफेक्शन डिजीज जो है वो एक ऐसी कंडीशन होती है जब आपके जो ऑर्गन्स हैं ब्रेन हार्ट और लंग्स जो है दे गेट इफेक्टेड बाय दीस पैथोजंस सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ ऑन पेज नंबर 28 वी विल रीड अबाउट डिजीजेस इन एनिमल्स क्विकली रीड विद मी Diseases in animals. Viruses, bacteria and fungi cause diseases in animals. They enter into their bodies and attack their immune system. Thus animals face serious illness, which sometimes leads to even death. Fungi cause ringworm, bacteria cause foot rot in cattle, viruses cause blue tongue. So my dear students, ये जो microbes हैं या pathogens हैं ये animals के अंदर भी diseases cause करते हैं और sometimes infection जो है वो इतना ज़्यादा बढ़ जाता है कि it even cause the death of the animal. तो जो मुख्तलिफ virus, bacteria और fungi हैं, these microbes cause different diseases in animals. For example, fungi cause ringworm और bacteria जो है it cause rot foot in cattle and virus cause blue tongue. So let's have a look at these diseases. So this is ringworm in dog. This is caused by fungus. Then this is rot foot in cattle and it is caused by a bacteria. This is blue tongue in a sheep and this is caused by a virus. So these microbes also cause diseases in animals. Just like human beings, plants, uh, diseases are, are also caused in animals. So now is the time for practice. For practice, what you need to do is write down diseases caused by bacteria and fungi in plants. Write down diseases caused by virus in animals. So my dear students, what you need to do is now कि आपको जो plants में fungi और bacteria diseases cause करते हैं, आपको उनके names जो हैं अपनी notebook में लिखने हैं. And जो viruses diseases cause करते हैं animal में, write any one name. हमने एक ही discuss किया है, जैसे कि blue tongue so note it down in your notebook this is very easy you can take help from your book also pause the video and complete this task i hope you have finished it now we will move forward towards the worksheet for worksheet disadvantages of microorganisms you will write down your name and your class and you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can also get it in print form by your teacher so let's have a look at the worksheet. What you need to do is name the diseases caused by the microorganisms. So here you can see different leaves have different diseases. So you have to write down the names of the diseases and their cause also. Which microbe ca causes it? You can take help from the book. Now name the diseases caused by the microorganisms in animals. Here you can see two animals having two diseases. Uh, one is ringworm and the other is blue tongue. You have to write down the name of the uh, disease and also the cause. Yani ke which microbe is causing it, which pathogen is causing it. Is it a bacteria, fungi or a virus? Also write down their names. You will pause the video and you will complete the worksheet and submit it to your teacher. I hope you have finished the worksheet. Now we will move forward towards the evaluation. Now think about it. Do you think microbes only live on on or inside the human body. क्या आपको लगता है कि क्या जो microorganisms हैं वो सिर्फ human body के अंदर ही रहते हैं या हमारे ऊपर ही effect करते हैं या 
हमारे ऊपर अटैक करते हैं नो दे ऑल्सो अटैक अदर लिविंग थिंग्स लाइक प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स जस्ट लाइक वी हैव स्टडेड very good now we will move forward towards the homework quickly note down the homework home activity what you need to do is you have studied different diseases and animals and plants search name of the causative agent of each of the above mentioned diseases symptoms of the diseases mode of transmission of each disease mentioned above and prepare a report and present it in the class so my dear students abhi humne different microbes which cause diseases in plants and animals like virus bacteria and fungi humne unke bare mein padha hai Now you also know the diseases. आपको उन diseases के causes आपने पढ़ लिए कि वो different microbes उनको cause करें क्या symptoms हैं उनके और क्या effect होता है animal के ऊपर You have to make a report about it and then submit it in the class and share with your class fellows, with your siblings uh, to create awareness. So you will do it in your homework and we will move forward towards another homework that you will do exercise A. Um, you seek dark colored spots on leaves the possible causative agent is virus bacteria algae or all of these so you will complete it in your homework next what we have done today today we learned that microorganisms can spoil food microorganisms cause diseases in plants and animals so my dear students microorganisms jo hai ye hamare food ko bhi spoil karte hain और ये प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स के अंदर डिजीजेस भी कॉज करते हैं जस्ट लाइक मेनी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैव एडवांटेजेस सिमिलरली सम ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आल्सो हैव देयर डिसएडवांटेजेस सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड द वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट और वी विल लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट ह्यूमन डिजीजेस कॉज्ड बाय डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स जैसे आज हमने प्लांट्स में डिजीजेस और एनिमल्स में डिजीजेस पढ़ी हैं कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ह्यूमन डिजीजेस कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स अंटिल देन कीप एवरीबॉडी अराउंड यू सेफ हैव अ गुड डे थैंक यू सो मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़